Hello everyone, I'm here to do a quick um, VR um, for Lens uh, Crafty Life. Um, she's doing a kind of birthday card challenge uh, for her daughter who is going to be 18 and it's going to be a surprise. Um, and it closes on this 17th of, sorry, I beg your pardon, the 15th of July. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yes, I um, thought I would um, participate and make a card for her daughter. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a tickly uh, cough in my throat. Um, yeah, so her favourite colours um pink and grey and white and um and she loves um Paris so she asked to do a like a Paris uh, theme. Um <laughs> and contrary to all the colours I have decided to do something of a challenge uh to what she likes um and I hope that she will like this. It is a, a very pretty mint color, which is uh, which is uh, one of my favorites, because my color is also pink and white. And uh, so, so I make this card. Um, it, I used um, magnolia magnolia Tilda stamp. Um, she's holding a bunch of flowers. And then I got a Paris stamp there as well. It said Paris uh, with love. And so I colored this in a color pencil in this lovely, how do you say this color? It's like a mauve color. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm normally not, uh, you know, that uh, you know, uh, like dark colors or anything, but this is a really lovely vintage color, so I did that. And then I got a Paris Eiffel Tower stamp at the background, and as uh, also the cardstock, I've um, di um, used distress, uh, distress oxide um, to make some, you know, at the background of the cardstock before I cut out this shape. And then I've die cut some lovely uh, border as well in cardstock in the similar color. And then I've also die cut these uh, viewfinder die there with the, die, uh, with the wheel, uh, viewfinder dies. And a couple of tags there that I had tie some seam binding, which I have also um, kind of briefly dye in the similar color, which is the um, mint green or mint blue, whatever. Um, and I handmade these foam flowers as well with a lovely center. And it is a mulberry rose in the similar color she's in. And then also another flower there. And there's some uh, leaves that I cut at the back there. There's another one there as well. Um, what else? And then I've got a stamp there for you. And then some chipboard which I emboss in Believe it or not, it is a pink glitter, but it's so shimmery, you can't see the pink. So, so it's glittery, so it's like a happy birthday. So that is the card I made, and I've got some lovely um, lace there at the back as well. I love these leaves. So that is my card, and it is an easel card. In case a lot of people, <laughs> when I give the card to, especially my family, they didn't know that an easel card so stands like that. You can see, and then I have um, another card here that has die card with 
the note for Megan, that's the daughter. And a little bit of lace there. And then a little um, paper doily. So that is my card. I hope um, you will like it, Megan, and that you will like the colours that I've chosen. <laughs> um, so, yes, as soon as I get the address from Lenica, I will post this off hopefully tomorrow and um, that you'll get it soon. Um, I will put Lenica's uh, challenge link below and um, I hope you can join in and surprise Megan. Um, so, I'll see you again soon. Bye everybody. Bye.